What's up? What's up, everybody? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com, and I live down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I teach entrepreneurs, network marketers, direct sales people, any kind of entrepreneurs how to generate more leads for your business, how to sponsor more reps, and how to make more money. What I want to share with you tonight, do you want to attract more prospects to you, more more people that want to join your business? Because I'm going to give you a tip of why, what's up Dale, of why being a problem solver is much better than just pitching your business or just talking about your business, right? Why being a problem solver is better than just pitching your business alone. I'm going to kind of give you an example or kind of give you a really the thought process behind it. You know, think about, think about in your life and, and, and kind of off topic. One thing that I've learned over the recent years is to really start putting myself and you should do the same thing, putting myself in my prospects shoes. I know that sounds cliche. I know that you know, kind of everybody says that, but very few people are actually doing it. I want you to start putting yourself in your prospect's shoes, your prospect's frame of mind, what they would be thinking, what you would be thinking if you were, you know, say looking for a business opportunity or looking at how to generate more leads for your business or how to get more sales for your business, right? So with that said, I want you to think about in your life, Whenever you have a situation, let's say, let's say you have a plumbing, a plumbing problem, right? The toilet's overflowing. Let's say you have a, uh, you're trying to change your car battery out and you really don't know how to do it. What are some of the first things that we do, you know, in today's society? What is one of the first things that I do, I know, that you probably do as well when you are trying to figure something out? Drum roll, please. I'll just answer it. I won't wait. For those of you that are watching, that's cool. You can type in what you do, but you know what probably 99.9% of people do when they have an issue that they can't figure out, they use the Google, right? They go on Google or they go on YouTube. You know, it's so funny. <laughs> My wife is the type of person that she likes to try and figure things out. You know, she doesn't like to read directions. She just likes to, you know, get something, whether it be on the computer or you know, if we're putting something together, she doesn't like instructions. She just wants to like figure it out on her own. So while she's over there figuring things out, I am the first person to just be like, you know what? I don't know how to do this. So let me just Google it. Let me just watch it on YouTube, how to change a car battery. And then you can pull up, you know, hundreds and hundreds of videos on how to change a car battery out or how to put something together or how to start a blog or, I mean, you name it, literally any question that you have, you can Google it or YouTube it and get an answer. So why is that important? Because that's in human nature, that's what we tend to do with today's technology is we are, we're in an information age where literally every answer is at the tip of your fingertips, right? The tip of your fingers. You can figure out how to do anything. So why do you, why is it so important to become a problem solver? Well, when you become a problem solver, now you start becoming more attractive to people. Now people start viewing you as the go-to lady or the go-to guy to help them out in a particular niche. You don't have to be an expert of everything, but what you do is whatever niche that you're in, if you're in the home business, if you're in sales, if you're in travel, if you're in health and wellness, whatever your niche is, then you want to become a problem solver within that niche. So you want to answer questions that people have about, you know, that particular topic or that particular niche. What are some of the typical questions that you get asked? What are the questions that you see on forums? And you want to become an expert. And the way you do that is you become a problem solver. So let me give you like a real life example of how you might be able to um, attract people to you and your business opportunity by becoming a problem solver as opposed to what most people are doing in just pitching their business. Now, um, I'm going to ask you a question. You can answer it below, you know, type in the comments. Um, I'm not going to wait on people to type, but you can type in the comments if you, if you have an answer. I'm going to give you two scenarios. Now, you being a 
think of yourself as the prospect, right? You're, you're, you know, brand new to a home business, you know, you and your husband or you and your wife or you and your self, right? Me, myself, and I, let's just say that, you know, you're, you're unhappy at work. You're, you're looking to make more money. You're frustrated. You want more vacation time. You want to earn more money. You want more time with your family, whatever it is that you want. You're to the point now where you're like, darn it. I need to figure out a way to make some money from home. I, you know, from home, I need to, I want to start a business. I just don't know how to. So pretend you're that prospect, which would be more attractive to you. Okay. Option number one is you go, let's say you go online. Let's say you're, you know, scrolling through Facebook, you're on YouTube, you're on whatever. All right. Whatever social media, which option is more appealing to you as the brand new, never started a business, have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I want to make some stinking money from home. Option number one would be what everybody else does. They pitch their business. You're scrolling. You see, hey, want to make $1,000 in the next 30 days? You only need $1 to start. You don't have to recruit. All you have to do is paste, you know, copy and paste into Facebook, right? You're scrolling through. Okay, that seems kind of weird. Hey, the next next one that you see, hey, you want to make money from home? A little effort, make $4,000 in 30 days. All right, that sounds too good to be true, right? Scroll again. Um, hey, we're looking for three people to join a ground level opportunity. Nobody else is doing this. This is the best thing since sliced bread. You know, easy money, no effort required, work as little as you want, make a ton of money and retire, right? So you get my point, right? These are what the most people are doing. They're just pitch, 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 pitch. No, I didn't say B. I said P. Pitch, 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 pitch. They're pitching their business. They're they're throwing out a lure. They're throwing out a line into the ocean hoping somebody bites. Now, here's scenario number two, which is what I would recommend. And you tell me, you know, what you would choose. Again, you're the brand new prospect. You have no idea about internet, social media marketing, network marketing, direct sales. Like, you're just, I want to make money from home. So what if you were scrolling in that same feed? You just kept scrolling. You're like, nah, 4,000. Okay, too good to be true. Nah, sounds like a scam. Nah, you're scrolling. And all of a sudden, you hit on a a feed or, or a post that says something to the effect of um, look at uh, the, the top five things you need to know before you start making money from home or the top five things that you need to look at before you join any business, the top, you know, 10 things that you should consider before jumping into a a home business, right? Something to that effect. You get my drift though? So all of a sudden here you are brand new. I'm looking for an opportunity to make money from home. I'm, you know, sick of my job, blah, 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 blah. And I come across that feed. Would you stop? Probably because you'd be like, whoa, you know, what are these top 10 things that I need to know before I start making money from home or, you know, the top five things that I need to know or consider before I start a home business. Remember, my mindset is I'm just looking to make money from home. So then I would click on that. And then when they click on that, you do, let's just say this was your post that you do a video or you do a PDF report that gives them those 10 things that they should consider, right? You know, the cost of getting started. Is it, you know, appealable, you know, does it appeal to the masses? What's the profit potential? Is there a step-by-step training system, right? All these different things that you start listing or that you share on a video of the top 10 things to consider before you start, you know, before you get in any business from home. So you're now becoming a problem solver in this second scenario. Right? Does that make sense? You're you're giving them, you're not just pitching, hey, make money with me. You're giving them some substance. You're giving them something that they can, whether they join your business or not, they can actually click off your video, close the PDF report, and be like, wow, you know, that was really valuable. I'll have to remember to look out for these things as I'm looking for my business opportunity. Right? But wait, there's more. I'm not just saying to do a video or a PDF of the top five or the top ten. 10 things to consider, you know, blah, 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 blah. Let's need to see this already with us. We always, yeah, absolutely. And I can't see all of it, but absolutely, Dale. Um, um, oh my gosh. Okay. So, so in addition to just giving them those 10 things or, you know, that 
free PDF report with those 10 things. The way that you can transition to your business now, right? Because I get that asked a lot. Well, if I give them all this value, how do they know to join my business? How do they know that they can join my business that I'm looking for them? Well, after you finish, right? After you finish giving them them those 10, you know, things to look out for, all you, on your call to action, which is what you want them to do after they finish watching your video or what they what you want them to do, your prospects to do after they read your PDF. All you simply have to do at the end, let's say of your video is say, "Hey, listen, you know, I hope you got value." I hope these 10 things make sense of exactly these 10 things that you should consider before you start a home business. If you're looking for a home business that entails these 10 things that will, you know, alleviate these 10 struggles that most people have that will, um, you know, make you feel comfortable that you will have all 10 of these things taken, you know, accounted for um, and you're looking to make money from home. Click the link below and you can see exactly what I'm doing to make money from home. Or, you know, if you got value from these five things that you should look out for before you start making money from home and you're interested in learning how to make money from home, then click the link or, you know, message me back to let find out exactly what I'm doing because I have an opportunity that I'm doing right now that I went through all 10 of these things that I shared with you and it was a check, 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 check for all of them. I'm excited about what I'm doing. If you're looking for an opportunity that meets the requirements of all 10 of these or all five of these things that I just provided to you, click the link below, message me, email me, send a carrier pigeon, you get the point, right? So you gave them value up front. And then on the back end, you hit them with, hey, if you're interested or if you're looking to make money, which you know they are because they wouldn't be looking at your video or your PDF, then you give them the call to action to, you know, reach out to you or to click the link to get more information about your particular opportunity. That, my friends, that, my friends, is why being a problem solver always, always trumps just being a pitcher, right? That's why you want to be a problem solver because you will attract the people that are already looking for an opportunity, but you're attracting them in a different means than everybody else who's just pitch, 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 pitch. They're just scrolling down. They see the same old crap. I mean, stuff. (laughs) That's a joke. Um, You know, but then all of a sudden when they hit your post of, you know, the five things you need to look out for before you start a home business, they're going to be like, whoa, what are these five things? You give them value. You talk about the five things and then you say, hey, listen, I have an opportunity that checks out all five of these things and more. If you're interested in learning what I'm doing, click the link and you will get people that are looking. They're in your target market. You gave them value. They feel like you've given them something before they even know you rather than, you know, them feeling like you're trying to take advantage of them by pitch, 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 pitch. They actually feel like, wow, this person wants to help me out. They gave me this information for free. Imagine what they can do when I'm on their business team and they're helping me make money. So I hope this makes sense, guys. Drop a comment below. I appreciate all the likes and the thumbs up that you've given me. Drop a comment below if you got value from this. And, you know, more importantly, feel free, feel free, I can't talk today, feel free to share this with some of your teammates or some other people and, and put this to use, right? Put this to use. Don't don't fall into the same pattern of, you know, let me pitch, let me pitch, let me pitch, but provide some provide some more oomph, right? Give people something up front and then on the back end, you can ask them for the sale. You can ask them to join your business. You can ask them to check out your products, whatever it is. But if you lead with value first, you're going to get way further along in your business than if you're just doing what everybody else who's really not making any money in their business. And that's just by pitching constantly hoping that they get a bite. So again, if you got value, feel free to share. Feel free to drop a comment below. If you have any questions about anything I talked about, if you want more clarity on something, feel free to drop a comment. For those of you, all right, Dale, peace out. Good to see you. Um, For those of you that, that are, you know, in a business, you're looking to attract more people to you, make sure that you check out the link that I left below um, so you can learn exactly kind of the foundation of what I'm talking about right now about leading with value and becoming a problem solver rather than just a pitcher. So if you're you're interested in learning the methods that I'm using to generate leads every single day, day in and day out, click the link right below uh, this video here 
and uh, I will see you on the other side. So again, this is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's been real. Enjoyed sharing with you guys. Peace out. Take care.